Hi everyone, thank you for checking out today's video. Today I'll be reviewing my new iPhone 12. Um, it is a 64 gigabyte model, and it's just a regular 12, not a Pro Max or any of the other um, models. So here we open it up. It's a pretty standard Apple box, and you have your SIM card in here, and the little tool to take out the SIM card. Pardon me, not the SIM card, but the tool to take it out in here. And um, it does not come with a charger. Um, and for the new iPhones, you have to use the new USB-C chargers for the iPhone SE. And I believe everything after the 11, you have to use the new chargers, um, which pretty much look the same as a regular iPhone charger. Um, if you do use a regular iPhone charger, your iPhone 12 will charge, but it will damage the battery. So here's the new the iPhone 12 and you can see it has cameras on the back. I have an other box on mine but mine is um, black and I like the new iPhone 12. It's very smooth, works very well. Um, one of the main differences I noticed going from the 12 from the iPhone XR to the iPhone 12 is that now I have 5G availability and I can um, use 5G in most areas that I go to, which is much faster than 4G and um, sometimes can be even close to Wi Fi speeds. And um, with the iPhone 12, you also have the availability to do wireless charging, for example, of your computer or if you decide to buy a wireless charger from Apple, you have that option to charge your phone without any cords, which I'm going to start doing. I'm going to, um, T-Mobile sells the wireless charging stations just for the iPhone, and those work really well from what I've heard. Um, so if you are in the market for a new phone and you like iPhones, I would recommend getting the 12 because it's more affordable than some of the other models. Um, but I personally thought I was going to get a higher gigabyte, but 64 gigabytes is okay. It depends on, of course, um, how many apps you download, how many pictures you have, different things like that um, will definitely impact whether you should get an iPhone with higher storage. For my next iPhone purchase, I think I'm going to get 128 gigabytes just so that I have that extra space that um, really is necessary because we have so many things on our phones that it's a good idea to have that extra storage even if you don't need it at that moment. I hope this review helped and um, have a great day.